Today we are doing my hanging hoil. 17 centimeter pot, so it's quite a nice jump. As you can see, it is very, very, very long. All right, so these are the first few that I've done. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hello, my name is Rachel and I run my own business here in Auckland, New Zealand where we sell houseplants and houseplant related supplies. And if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. So if you haven't already, stop watching this video, go and check out this video up here. It is part one of repotting my Hoya collection where I repotted all my trellis Hoya. I'll give you a little shot of those right now. So if you want to see how I repotted all of those, make sure to go to that video up there. And it's in the description box down below, so make sure to go and check that one out. But yeah, welcome back to part two of my Hoya repotting series, where I'm repotting every single Hoya in my collection. And today we are doing my hanging Hoya, which are all along the center of my greenhouse here. So I'm just going to dive straight into it. If you do enjoy this video, don't forget to hit the like button. It lets me know what kind of content you guys like to see. And I'd love it if you would also consider subscribing to my channel down there. We'd love for you to join us. So yeah, let's just get straight into today's video. So I'm going to start off by giving you a rough overview of everything. So these are all in our 14 centimeter hanging pot. I'm going to double plant a lot of them. A lot of these are double plant. Or double planted there's double of this one type of plant up here I've been saving them specifically to be able to do this um, and then I'm going to be planting them up into our 17 centimeter hanging pot so they are all the way down the middle of the greenhouse and as you can see some probably need chopping and propagating but yeah there is a lot to do I also really quickly wanted to show you my carnosa which is absolutely doing the most this year if I bring you down here Look at that, we have a peduncle. So pretty. And then we have another one coming there. But this is the side that really gets me. There is one, two, three, four, and five peduncles. So it's absolutely loving its life this year. But I'm gonna get started on the actual task at hand, which is repotting all of those Hoya. So I'm gonna start with one that's already on the desk behind me here. And that is this beautiful Hoya Potsii, Potsi whatever you want to pronounce it as, that I got from at King's Plant Barn the other day. They had a 25% off sale and I had $20 in gift cards. So I got this beauty along with another one that I will show you in a minute. So this one I'm actually going to completely depot as well because the soil they put them in is just horrendous. It's <laughs> really thick and nasty. Um, and I'm going to repot it into our houseplant mix. And yeah, let's do that. So I always take a look at the plant and see what it's doing, whether there's one plant, two plants, could possibly be two plants, but let's just just unpot it and have a look. Ugh, ah, oh, that soil gives me the heebie jeebies. And it's still got its plug on it too. So when they're growing in nurseries, they start out in these plugs. See that brown plug around it there? Definitely look for those and make sure you take those off if you can. And let all the roots be free. I always take this time to check the roots as well. Get rid of any dead roots because they're not helpful at all. So just to start, I'm going to give you guys a quick context on the kind of size upgrade I'm giving these plants. So this is the 14 centimeter pot they're all in now and this is the 17 centimeter pot so it's quite a nice jump in size. So I'm going to fill this up, halfway that is, <laughs> and then I'm just going to pop her in. I'm actually going to have a look, can I chop and propagate any of this? Probably. Okay so it's definitely one plant but I think I can chop some of it. Because I know it's ages away, but I have a market in February coming up called the Auckland Plant Market. It's what I just had. I'm going to go for that one because that one's got lots of nice roots coming on it. Which one's longer? That one's longer, so I'll take that one as well. Cool, so there's four cuttings and a nice, small, manageable plant. So let's pot her up. I'm going to show you how I pot up my cuttings as well to propagate them just really, really quickly. Um, I'm going to grab a little pot and I'm going to just fill it up completely with tree fern fiber. And then I will cut the stems down to a reasonable length because you don't want them to be too long. Then I'm just going to pop it straight in the tree fern fiber. Here we go. And then I'll fill it up with a little bit more tree fern fiber. So it's right to the top. Sprinkle it in there. And then I'll water it in with the Growth Technology Clonex solution and we're good to go. I'm also going to give their leaves a quick write down because why not? <laughs> Look how dirty they are. 
Ugh. Okay, this one I also got from King's Plant Barn. It is a triple planted um, Hoya Hindu rope and it is long as you can see it is very 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 long so i might be doing the same um, i also have one of my own that i've grown as you can see here this is the one that i have grown myself uh but yeah i might have to do two pots of two and have two mother plants and chop some of this uh rather than have one giant one so yeah let's see how it goes All right, so I've decided for the first one, I'm going to pot up my one with the shortest one from the one from King's and make that a mother plant. And then the two longest ones, I'm gonna cut up and chop and propagate like you just saw with the potsy eye, potsy, yeah. And then put those in another one. Get as much of the old used soil out as possible. Put the new soil in. Alrighty, there's the first one done. There is one and two ropes coming off the side. And if I bring you around this way, there she has one and two new growth points there. And there are a few, I think, down the, down the actual thing itself. So yeah, that one is all ready to go. All right, now for these ones, I'm going to be chopping them, like big time chopping them. So I'm gonna have lots of propagations. I'm just gonna chop the long bit off and then chop all the little bits. Do you have any growth points? Boom. So these two little nubs are gonna go into a pot and then I'm gonna propagate the rest of them. All right, so the next one I'm going to be doing is my Hoya Crimson Princess. And as you can see, I have two plants that I'm going to be potting up into one. This one is a little bit sad. It's a little bit like sun-stressed, sunburn. It's a bit yellow looking and it really, really needs a good drink. So it's gonna do both of these really good. So let's unpot them and repot them. At the end there, as you can see, I did end up uh, chopping my Crimson Princess because it, she was just so long and they hang above my head. So I have two happy little propagations ready to go in the box. Okay, so the next one I'm going to be doing is my Hoya Linearis. As you can see, it is doing really, really well. And I have another tiny little one here I'm gonna add into the pot. And again, I'm probably gonna take some propagations because it's just turning into a chop and prop video as well as a repot video. You're pretty long, let me chop you. Thank you. And how long are you? I'm gonna chop you. Thank you. And probably both of you as well. Because why not? And here we have two pots full of Hoya Linearis cuttings. Now this is actually the first time I've propagated this. When I bought the plant, it was already in the couple of pieces that you saw. So yeah, I'm excited to give this a go. And as you will see through basically this whole video and most of my other videos, I always use the tree fern fiber and Clonex solution um, method for propagating because it just works and why fix what ain't broke, so yeah. All right, so these are the first few that I've done. I'm gonna have to do them in stages because there's just so many to do, but I have given them all a water like a real real thorough water and rinsed off the plant themselves as well just as in my last video i'm going to be feeding them all with the growth technology complete focus and again just because it's running out it's almost done so i can switch to a different fertilizer So 
from just those few plants that we have done, we have so many cuttings. Obviously the Linearis, the Crimson Queen, Crimson Princess. Yes, I ended up chopping it up. That was from the last video. <laughs> and at the potsy eye, so those are gonna go on a heat mat and then we're gonna continue. All right, next up is my Hoya mini bell and for some reason I have three of them. I thought I only had two, so we're going to unpot them, see what they look like. They're also going to be getting a chop to propagate because a lot of these are very, very long and then we will see what we have at the end. So I've decided there's actually four plants here. I thought there was three, but one of them was already double planted. I'm gonna put these three in the 17 centimeter pot to make my mother plant. And this one is quite a nice big one. I'm just going to pop it back into a 14 centimeter pot and pop it on the website. So unfortunately that's all I managed to get done today because it's now like half past six, gotta go make dinner and all that kind of stuff and I've run out of potting mix anyway. So I'm gonna make some more potting mix and I'll see you tomorrow. Hello guys, it's now the next day and I'm just continuing on where I left off yesterday. So now we have two Hoya Shepherdii. I don't know if you can see this one, but this one looks not that great. It's covered in spots and it's just really sun stressed and dehydrated. Um, but there is something still growing in here because see, there's a nice new tendril there. So we're gonna I'm gonna unpot these again and just have a look at them and see what we're working with. All right, so I've triple planted them here. Um, I have chopped a lot of the leaves out of the middle just because they were kind of looking a little bit like, I don't know, maybe fungal infected and now there's like sap running everywhere. I don't know if you can see that. See down the middle of the leaves there, how it's all like brown i'm not sure if that's focusing but i'm sure you saw the color so what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to give it a really good water and i'm actually going to give it a quick fungal spray just in case it is something fungal um so we don't spread it to anything else but yeah that is the shepherdi i done all right the next victim is my royal hawaiian purple pubic calyx um i actually only got this one here and this tiny little cutting of it here so i'm going to take some cuttings from it and then repot them both together i love that purple color look at that Oh, so pretty. Okie dokie, the next one is my Hoya Puba Calyx Splash. And again, like all the other ones, she's looking a little bit Mm, sun stressed a little bit yellow the splash doesn't really stand out so much so again i'm going to give her a chop and just a bigger pot i think there's already two plants in here and they're going to be more than big enough so i'm going to repot it just into a bigger pot look at that definitely in need of a repot poor gal Alrighty, now we have my Hoya fishtail. These ones are actually from the very front end of my greenhouse and they all seem to be way more like sun damaged and stressed um, compared to all the other Hoya that were at like this end of my greenhouse. And it's funny, this one actually has a repotting date on it from when I last repotted it and it was on the 9th of September last year. So this is over a year in the same pot, which shows you how often you don't need to repot them, but this probably could have done with a repot sooner. So yeah, let's do it. Use the drops of water all down my front. That's what happens when you put Hoya above your head and they're dripping wet. But anyway, uh, now we have my variegated Hoya Bella. Now these ones have been in just normal pots, but I am going to pop them in a hanging pot because Bella is really a hanging Hoya. And they're starting to hit that point where they're going to fall like that. So yeah, I'm going to cut some of these up and double plant it and then we'll be good to go. I think I'm actually gonna put these in a 14 centimeter pot as well, just because they are quite small. Now for my pride and joy, this is my outer variegated fishtail. 
um, again she's just been in a pot that is just like a normal upright pot but she needs to go into a hanging pot and I am going to be taking some cuttings from her I hate chopping up my big beautiful plants but it is what it is you know got to keep the shop stock going so let's do it So there we have it, that is all of my hanging Hoya repotted. series i have another very exciting video coming up uh maybe not next week not the next week after but the week after that and that is going to be all about our experience at plant fest in tauranga i'm so freaking excited i just got confirmation today that i'm going as a vendor and it's in three weeks time so i need to get my ass into gear and prep for that so i might be a little bit quiet on here until then i really hope you enjoyed part two of this video if you did please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up it really helps me know what content you guys like to see and also consider subscribing we would love for you to be a part of our channel so yeah i will see you in my next video bye i'm going to get started on the <laughs> and it's in the district so as you can see at the end there i did end it up ended up <laughs> shut up don't laugh at me <laughs> so i'm just going to pop it so all right so these are the first Blah, <coughs> <coughs>